Today we're going to show you how to change colors and light with the brand new adjustment brush tool in Photoshop. So we're in our full build of Photoshop 2025. Make sure you update because this used to be in beta. Now you're going to see this brand new tool, this adjustment brush tool. And basically what this allows you to do is simply start painting in anywhere you want and then change things like your brightness and contrast, your exposure, your vibrance, hue, saturation. You can make it black and white, add some, you know, like yellow or blue photo filters. You can do so many things with these tools. Let's go ahead and start with our hue slash saturation. And I want to change the color of these glasses. So I'm going to just start painting on these glasses. And as I do, you're going to see automatically it brings up a hue slash saturation adjustment layer. Okay. And you can see it's brought our saturation up to about plus 30. And I can simply just change this hue right here. And as I paint, I'm able to just simply paint this effect on our images. So with, while this is a new tool in Photoshop, it's not necessarily giving us something that we couldn't do before, okay? What this is doing is it's creating a hue slash saturation adjustment layer, and then it's allowing you to paint on the layer mask. So it's kind of like a shortcut to your adjustment layers. Now, sometimes if you change your colors like very, very far, you're gonna see some, it doesn't always look the best. In that case, you wanna click on colorize. So let's go ahead and click here on colorize. You can just add some color and then change it to whatever color you want and it's going to fully change those colors so i recommend doing this only if you're like trying to really push the hue saturation normally you can just unclick colorize and just move it a little bit and that's going to work a little bit better but if you want to go very far you're going to see like sometimes it just doesn't look good with like the yellow so then click on colorize and then you can bring it to yellow and then adjust your saturation and that looks really good this is really cool because you can actually apply it to individual objects as well so let's go ahead and check this out. We're going to our next image here and we have this image of the fish. So we can, again, start by choosing what you want to actually do. Maybe you want to change your brightness and contrast. Maybe you want to change our exposure. So let's start with there. We're going to hit apply to object and then simply go over here and click on that object. There we go on the fish. And I'm going to be able to adjust the exposure of our fish. So you have all these three sliders that you can do, your gamma, your offset, and your exposure. This is looking really good. And as you can see, if I go back to my layers, basically this just makes an exposure adjustment layer and it automatically makes that layer mask because we applied it to an object. I can just turn this off and on at any time, which is nice. Okay, check this out. We're gonna do one more thing here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add a new adjustment. So let's go ahead and click on add a new adjustment. I wanna change the colors again. So let's go to hue slash saturation. Okay, and then we wanna apply this to an object. So go right to apply object and then go ahead and click here on your object. Boom. And now I can start to change the hue as well. So you can see you can do this multiple times within the same image and you're going to be able to get a lot of different effects. I like this purple. Look what it's doing right there with the scales. This is super sick. Now let's go back to our layers because this sets us up with a hue saturation adjustment layer and then a layer mask. I can actually just click here on my layer mask and start to do some effects. Like if I go to my gradient tool, right, let's go ahead and click on our gradient here. We're going to go to our gradient and then I just have my black to white gradient. I'm going to click and drag outwards and look at this beautiful effect that I'm able to make on my layer mask. I can move this around and then right up here, if I click on reverse, it's just going to allow me to reverse the colors of that. So I'm able to create this stunning effect here very, very easily on my layer mask. Check this out. This is that before and the after all this using the adjustment brush tool in Photoshop brand new for 2025. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more advanced tutorials, check out Flurn Pro, where we teach advanced retouching, Photoshop, and more.